Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one is using one of my um, originally designed cut files, um, it's a beautiful <laughs> um, that I've designed, it's available for free download for a week from my Facebook group and yeah I love this cut file, I'm really rather proud of it <laughs> if I do say so, I spent a lot of time creating it and um, yeah I'm really super pleased with how it turned out. So the photo I am scrapbooking today is of Edison. Um, she's just drawn a really super cute little picture and she's just looks gorgeous. So I thought it would be uh, perfect to go with this cut file. Um, I'm using the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection and what I'm going to do is um, just be a little bit crazy and back <laughs> all of the flowers and leaves in the cut file. I did contemplate putting like a solid pattern paper behind each of the letters but I thought no I've gone to the effort to create all of these little elements. I want to really make its delicate nature of the cut file shine so that's what I'm doing. Um, it did take me a wee while uh, but I got there in the end so I'm just basically cutting um, some little squares of patterned paper and popping them behind the flowers with some glue and then I will just take my little fussy cutting scissors and trim off the excess so that's what I'm going to do here. I don't make you watch it all, it's a pretty simple process um, back in a cut file and I do end up with a lot of open spaces in the end so there we go you can see the only things I didn't back were the little vines of leaves I thought that was going a little bit too far <laughs> okay so um, I'm going to sift through the 12 by 12 papers and try to find a background pattern paper that I like um, I'm not sure what direction I am going for I just want something that makes the um, cut file really shine on its own and I like this blue I was quickly drawn to that um, I had been saving that pattern paper for some time and so now I'm just continuing just to make sure there's nothing else that could be suited a little bit better um, I'm looking for more solid prints nothing with a huge really busy pattern because I, again I want those flowers to really shine okay so I've got a few options here and I'm just going to flick through them um, we've got a light pink with a really subtle tone on tone pattern darker pink that's gone, purple's gone, ombre pink's gone so it's the decision between these two and at first I went for the pink and I trim off the bottom branding strip just pop it back in place and then I quickly switch back to the blue I'm thinking that the, the cut file pops off that light blue pattern paper just a little bit better and um, you can really see the delicate nature of it so that's why I've gone for the blue. Okay, so I'm just deciding where I'm going to place that cut file and I decide it's going to be left justified so I can pop that photo to the right of the cut file and then I'm going to just quickly uh, scoot through and put a whole lot of adhesive tape behind some of those flowers. I'm not going to pop it all around all the edges because there will be enough eventually behind those flowers to keep it popped off, off the page. Okay, I want to pop some pet paper behind my photos just for a few layers a few really subtle light layers just to help it feel a little bit more combined with the cut file so we've got a white with um, rainbow stripes I'm going to bring in a blue floral just a very thin border of that just going to trim off my excess and then I do bring in one more which I think is a pink yep and that's just a really light pink just to kind of bring in those colours that are in the cut file. So I'll trim off the excess just for a very thin border around my photo. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of adhesive foam behind it just on one side because it's um, going to be half the photo is going to be supported by the cut file. And I popped it on the wrong, wrong side, <laughs> so we'll fix that up and there we go. Okay, so I haven't removed the backing off that um, cut file yet off all the adhesive tape. I'm just going to kind of place things around and make sure that I am happy with it. Now you could totally, um, like if I printed my photo big enough, I might have been inclined to cut those flowers out of the um, letter O and put my photo in there, I think that would have been a perfect spot and then had the um, cut file aligned kind of centrally 
um, down the page but um, I didn't do that I really wanted to keep it intact for this layout so radio so we've got a frame die cut which I like the idea of it's in a really nice white with just some little hearts on it and then I really wanted to bring in some a tassel um, because I haven't used them before so I've tucked that on the bottom of the photo I did try to pop that little um, butterfly charm on it but it wasn't sitting right so I do end up just sitting it on top of it and I'm just continuing to go through and finally trying to find pieces that work I do go through a lot of these words um, that are in the die cuts but I decided they weren't going to make it this this the cut file beautiful stands out enough and says enough I think Okay, I've also got another little die cut piece under that paper clip that says let's get creative which was perfect for the photo and now I'm going to get to the floral die cuts. Now this was definitely my intention to use up some of these florals with this cut file um, but it's it tended to be a bit harder than I thought to narrow down which ones I want to use. So at first I go for the ones with the white borders and the kind of multiple coloured florals um, and looking at it, it just wasn't right. It was the clusters were getting too big, the floral pieces were too big, and they weren't doing it for me. So they do sit there for a wee while, and I try to find some other bits and pieces, but I do quickly um, switch them out eventually. Um, got a little label sticker um, down the bottom, and a nice soft green, uh, which I think it says favourite memories of you, or memory of you. And I do pop another one to the left and one up there, um, but I do end up taking those other two off eventually. It was just getting a little too boxy and wasn't feeling very organic, uh, which is what I wanted this layout to feel. Okay, so I've got some rub-ons here. These are from the Whimsical Collection as well, and there's a few little titles. Like I like the titles, but I've got a couple of packs of these rub-ons, and I know that I'm not going to use all of these titles. So the best way I figure to make sure that I do use the rub-ons or the parts of the rub-ons is to just basically cut off the words and I can strategically tuck those little floral bits that are cut off underneath the words and then I'm not, I don't feel like I'm wasting the rub-ons. I mean rub-ons only have a limited shelf life so I want to get them used while they're still good. So that's the aim for this at the moment. Okay, so I'm just adding another one down the bottom. Again, I've cut it off that word, so you can't really tell. And I'm just peeling off the backing, and I want to go for another one. Which I'm going to tuck down under the O and the Y. And just rub that on, and that fills in some nice little spots around the cut file. And it brings a little delicate little, little pops of interest. Okay, so here I am deciding that that floral die cut was way too big it's not working for me so I take them all off and go back to the drawing board <laughs> so I'm going to sift through and just bring in some of these solid flowers and layer some up back in those three spots I generally like to have three clusters that's what I generally go for um, if I feel like it needs more I will up it to five I don't generally have even numbers unless it's a grid layout um, I feel like even um, odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye so it's kind of these three clusters are placed in a position that it's going to form that all-important visual triangle and draw your eye around the page so my main cluster is going to be the photo with the cluster that kind of encompasses the photo and then we have a slightly larger one which is at the top left and then a slightly smaller one at the bottom left but it's not quite looking like that at the moment but it will do when I'm finished I decided it might be a good idea to bring in some of these little vines that are in the um, floral die cut pack as well and I put a bunch on it first um, because I really like the idea of them but I do pair it back a bit um, just because it was taking away too much from the cut file so another little floral rub on I'm going to tuck up here to the top left and then I'm going to look around and try to find some pieces so I've got a little puffy floral sticker and I found some little vines on the puffy sticker sheets as well. So I'm going to pull off a couple of them and put them in on the cut file as well. Just trying to tangle them around a little bit. 
little fun time spinner. It's a puffy sticker as well. And I'm opening up another packet. Pulling off some more of those vines. I do pull off a few of the flowers, but um, I do decide I don't like them either. I was very indecisive with this layout. A um, couple of little hearts on the puffy sticker sheet. Just scattering them around those clusters. And I'm going to start peering it back a little bit now. So I'm taking those little flower puffy stickers off and I'm going to replace them with a few little butterflies, which I like the idea of a little bit better. I've got a little bird puffy sticker up the top there. And I do pop a butterfly down on this bottom leaf cluster as well. I've just removed those word stickers. So I decided they were a bit too, the edges were a bit too sharp. Okay, so just looking for things that I can make work. I don't want to use huge pieces, so this little sticker book has come in handy. There's a few little uh, floral stickers in that that I like the idea of using, so I'm going to layer them in. And that large pink flower was just a bit too much, so I've taken that out and replaced it with a like a cluster of flowers on a sticker from that little sticker book. And it's a bit more pleasing to my eye there. And then I'm going to pull off a couple of little rub-ons and butterflies. So we've got a little purple one up the top and a little blue one to the right. Just going to pop that down there. And that's helping to give the illusion that I've made those clusters a little bit larger because I've extended them out. Okay, having a quick look through the chipboard, I'm going to bring in some more hearts, just finding a place for them, one in each cluster, quick little look through the sticker sheets, and I find a couple more hearts, I'm going to pop them on, I did try the enamel dots, but I often struggle with these ones because they are such a different texture than everything else and I feel like I need to add a lot of them for them to be to make them really feel like they are at home on the layout and I didn't want to add too much more to this layout so that's why I decided not to put them on okay so now I can start to kind of put everything in place so I've glued those little vines down I'm going to move my photo out of the way and I'm going to pick up the cut file <laughs> and peel off all those little backing bits. I should have been smarter and just adhered it down straight away, but that's okay. That's all done now. I can go along and just pop glue behind the rest of my die cut pieces, chipboard, my photo cluster. Just kind of making sure everything else is glued down behind there now. I decided those books needed to go, so I'm going to replace them with a flower and pop that in there. I'm just kind of adding pieces. I'm going to add a little glue dot behind this butterfly charm because I want to make sure that it stays. And I felt like glue, it would take a little bit too long to get it to dry. Um, and ATG probably wouldn't work on it, so a big chunky glue, glue dot behind it um, worked just fine. Okay, so just continuing, and it's all done now, I skipped through, didn't make you watch it all. Um, I'm going to add a few more little touches from the sticker book. I'm going to bring in some more flowers, and just kind of layer them on top and around that cut file, just to bring some more colour. So I'm just choosing ones that I like the look of. Got a whole bunch of flowers, I'm going to layer them together, add leaves with each of them. Just kind of shuffling them around. I want to get them evenly placed around that cut file. And I'm going to pop one up the top, or a couple of flowers up the top. And I've got a little leaf there. I apologise if you can hear squawking. Pookie goes around the paddock <laughs> by my uh, house. <laughs> um, and they're rather noisy. Okay, so just finishing off this little flower clusters on top of the cut file 
again I'm just fluffing up those vines those leaves my f petals and my flowers and my leaves and a last little finishing touch I was going to do gold but I decided I want to keep it really soft so I'm doing a few little splatters of some white liquitex acrylic ink and that's it for my layout so I hope you enjoy the process if you want to get your hands on this beautiful cut file <laughs> make sure you head on over to my Facebook group because it's only there for a week and then it's gone so um, until next time uh, bye guys Thank you.